It's Friday, July 21st, 2023, and that makes it Lobster Roll Friday. Yep, time for yet another Lobster Roll review. Today, I'm headed over to Roddick's Takeout, which is right at the edge of Southwest Harbor on the north side of town. So, I'm going to show you how to get there from downtown Southwest Harbor. Okay, I've just come into downtown Southwest Harbor from the south, and we are heading north out of town. And Roddix is just outside the main part of Southwest Harbor to the north of town on Route 102. And it is, in fact, just past the uh, grocery store here as you head out of town toward Soamsville. And uh, so I'll show you the drive over there. I'll shut up and speed this up a little bit. destination so I'm gonna park and we're gonna walk up and buy a lobster roll here's their menu you can see they have the classic main lobster roll and the naked main lobster roll this is just lobster with lettuce on a bun they're down in the lower left of the menu so let's go order a lobster roll. well I'm up at their outside seating area and I'm gonna take a look at the lobster roll here before I go home to eat it and also show you the rest of the place. Now, down below, they got a few picnic tables that are right there next to the road. That is a fairly busy highway, so that would be a little noisy. But just up here, they have seating that you can look out over the parking lot in the road. And some more picnic tables here. And then they have their very popular mini golf course which is just opened this year and judging by the numbers I think it's an 18 hole course some friends of mine have played it and had a great time and as I said this is brand new it's only been open a little more than a month and as you can see it is extremely popular so let's take a look at this lobster roll The lobster roll cost $27. Came with a small bag of chips. And let's open it up. And yeah, this is a good lobster roll. Lots of lobster on it. Slice of pickle here. And a lemon wedge. So this is a good one with a good deal of lobster. And on a traditional New England style hot dog bun that's toasted uh, it, this is a classic so it's got a little mayo and this doesn't have too much it doesn't look like you can see it but it's not oozing out so I think this is gonna be a pretty good lobster roll so I'm gonna take it home 
and uh, cut it in half and my wife and I will taste it and let you know what we think. Okay, here is the lobster roll from Roddick Takeout. It's on a traditional New England hot dog bun, nicely toasted. And there's plenty of lobster on this one. There's a little lettuce you can just see underneath down there. Uh, so it's not overwhelmed with lettuce. Uh, the lobster is cut up pretty small, but I see a lot of claw meat and some knuckle meat. And right off, I do not see any tail meat. It came with a lemon wedge and a quarter of a dill pickle and a very small bag of chips. So I can tell you that uh, when I asked about it, Roddix is a family operation, uh, husband and wife. The wife runs the restaurant and uh, the uh, golf course <laughs> and the husband is a lobster fisherman and he catches the lobsters. Anyway, this one is a classic lobster roll, so it has mayonnaise on it. You can see a little, but it's not oozing out of, out of the lobster roll. So I think it's probably not too bad in terms of how much mayonnaise. So I'm going to cut this in half, and my wife and I will give it the ultimate test. Okay, here's the first taste test from my wife. It's cooked well. How's the lobster? Um, okay. Um, mayonnaise? And... Mayonnaise, a little much. Okay, you think there's a little more than it needs to be? Yes. Okay, so you think it's a good lobster roll or not? It's a good lobster roll. Okay, what about the uh, pickle? And the pickle. And the chips look pretty standard. tough not very flavorful okay the potato chips sure yeah. well you know standard potato chips okay well thank you now I'm gonna give uh, the other half of the lobster roll a try uh, and uh, see how it comes out. Well, I think the lobster is very good. It's got a nice sweet flavor. It's uh, not tough and chewy. It, uh, yeah, it's got a reasonable amount of mayonnaise. For my taste, maybe just a hint more than it needs, but it's not, you know, oozing out like the last couple of weeks. Let's try this dill pickle. It's a nice crunchy dill pickle. It's definitely a dill pickle. Um, doesn't seem to have any garlic or anything like that in it, but so it's okay. And the potato chips, well, they're, uh, as you saw, they're regular Lay's potato chips, so they're nothing special. Yeah. Okay, so overall, I think this is a, a pretty good lobster roll. Let me talk about the value part of it. This lobster roll cost $27. That means it was $29.20, including sales tax which is less than the base price of any of the lobster rolls we've had, except for uh, the first two places we went to, Thurston's and Archie's. So, uh, and that's the price with tax. So, and there's plenty of lobster on this one. I think it's a good value for the money. It's a good lobster roll. The lobster is good. It's well cooked. And I should say that from the time I ordered it until I got the lobster roll, was about two minutes, so it was very quick. Now they weren't super busy. They were making up a big ice cream order, but they have different people doing lobster rolls and other seafood, and then they do have making up ice cream orders. So 
yeah, I think this is a pretty good lobster roll. And uh, for the price, it's uh, one of the better ones that we've had. Okay, that rounds up the lobster roll takeout places in Southwest Harbor, Bass Harbor, and Bernard. I've gone to seven different places now, and uh, that pretty much is it. Uh, I will be going uh, one more place. I'm not sure exactly where next week to round out July. Uh, I might be able to get a takeout lobster roll in Southwest Harbor from one of the sit-down restaurants. Uh, one of the people I know uh, who happens to be the owner <laughs> told me that they will do a takeout lobster roll. So I'm going to test them and see if they do. If they will, we'll do that one next week. And that will wrap up the quiet side of the island. If they don't do a takeout lobster roll, I'm going to go up north up to the town village of Town Hill, which is in Bar Harbor, but nowhere near the part of Bar Harbor that we think of as Bar Harbor, and get a lobster roll from a place called the Travelin' Lobster, which has very good reviews, and we'll find out how it compares to the other places down here on the quiet side of Mount Desert Island. Okay, thanks for watching.